Hello, how are you today? And welcome to another Photoshop for Beginners video tutorial. And in this one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a background for our website. Okay, a tiled background. So how do you do this? So let's get started. So first thing you click on file and create new. And the size will be with 200 by height by 200 pixels. Okay, resolution, I gotta leave it 72 for this one. And let's click OK. Okay, now I'm going to do is change this uh, the background color. So I'm just going to double click here on this padlock to unlock the, the background. Okay, and now I'm going to change the color by choosing like a smoke, smoky color here. Okay, let's do the same with this one. As I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the guardian here and basically just line across like that okay so I just gonna change match the color here for this one as well just to make sure the color is matching so I pick it from on there click OK and what that's gonna do is just gonna make my color be all one okay there it goes okay next thing what I'm gonna do is create a new layer here so click here to create a new layer and I go to text click on the T on T and let's say we change this color here so I'm gonna change click accept the changes here and just double click on test so I can change the color so I can see what I'm writing here so basically I gotta use because the background it wanna use a very vivid color okay we'll actually end the color to fade away a little bit and accept the changes and now I just gonna keep writing okay put the cursor there move this to the center here and accept the changes okay next step is to go to file make sure the test is selected because we only want to move the test to this point Go to file and sorry edit and free transform okay and what we're gonna do is just gonna kind of off-center the thing a little bit like this and maybe make it a bit longer something like that okay accept the changes that's it so I'm gonna do now I'm gonna save this as a, a PNG file so I go to file save as so save as a PNG or JPEG okay so in this case I like to save PNG and let's call it back one okay save on the desktop okay that's fine and save click OK okay now the image is saved Okay, so now I can delete this one because we don't need it. And I go back to my desktop, and there is the image we just created. Okay, so I click preview here. Actually, there is the image. Now, all I gotta do is just right click on this image and open with Photoshop. Okay, and there it is the image. So, the next step here, what we're gonna do here, now we're gonna use the rulers. Okay, so 200, there is 200 by 200. Okay, so all I need you to watch here is 100 here because that will be the center of 200, okay? So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick this tool here. Okay, make sure the layer is selected. And put this right at the corner there until the two edges of the cross goes white. And I just go across until 100 and down. Okay, just got to make sure I actually take one under that. Okay, and then right click, put your mouse on the center, right click. And layer via copy. Okay, notice it's going to create a new layer here for me. Okay, layer via copy. And there you go, so it creates a layer. Now, for the next one again, I'm going to do here from the right this time. Right, two corners, right to the 100 and down I need to make sure I actually only 
split the image on 100 exactly if you notice on 100 you can see that it goes to dashes okay when it's in the right place and then again right click on the center layer via copy and it creates another oh no okay what happened here you see this is the thing the layer okay so i'm gonna have to delete that one and i meant to make sure i'm actually selecting the the main layer the layer one okay the layer zero which is the layer that we got a full image okay and do it the same process again here this is the thing we always have to remember we're working with layers again to 100 I'm sure I'm on one under there. There it goes. Drop it. Right click. Layer via copy. And there it goes. I go another layer there. Now, what I'm going to do is just going to click on eye here to take my background, which is this one. Okay. And all I'm going to do here is these two images. So I'm going to swap them around. So I'm just going to select layer 2, go to moving tool. And the layer 2 is this one. I'm going to move it to this side. I select layer 1, move it to this side. And if you notice uh, here, we have to make sure that we actually get the image on the right edges there. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, good idea to do this as well is, is create a new layer. Okay, and actually change the color of the layer. So I'm going to do it. Just going to add a different color. So the green, okay, and then use the gra gradient and just try and align there, and basically push this layer right to the bottom. Okay, so it puts the green behind. So what this is gonna do is when I move the layers, allows me to see the background, in order to get better position for the image itself. So layer one again this one okay you see that you can still see the green there okay this makes sure that we don't go any further then layer 2 just gonna pull it to place here like this like so and that's it that's the image then so take the eye of the green color before you save so the color doesn't show on the on the background image okay now we go back you just zoom a bit here okay it looks okay now save again we're gonna save as png or jpeg okay save it back copy png that's fine click save okay and now there is the image we just created for the background okay now i'm gonna do i'm just gonna open my excite here to show you once we put the background to see what happened okay now in excite what we need to do is let's go to page margins okay and load the image from the hard drive i'm gonna select that copy okay so it's the second one back one copy png okay insert and now preview there they come and there you go so this is how we create a background for our website okay so thank you very much for watching my name is Zanuns bye bye for now